All right, so we're just under three minutes out from out of enough code. Let's go ahead and open this up. Round three. Get that all ready. Get input three. Um, I'm probably not going to spend too much time afterwards explaining. I'm going to solve it in Python. If I feel like it, I'll solve it in OCaml. Um, and then after that, um, probably won't stay on too long. I I can't afford to keep doing long streams because I <clears throat> have to get up. Um, but what I ha will do is continue updating my blog post. Um, I'll include this in the description, but I have been um, every day making some notes about the the day, talking about some of the interesting challenges from it, um, and and that'll be kind of my my outlet for all of the explanations. I'll do I'll probably do a little bit on stream, but not extensive. Um, we have light and dark mode depending on how you like it. Um, and obviously I'm also posting solutions up here on the GitHub. So all that'll be in the link. That'll be in the description as well. Let's turn on do not disturb. Okay, let's focus on the right window, get it full screen. And go back over here. All right, here we go. Interesting picture emerging, by the way. I bet it's a sub. Okay. By gamma rate and epsilon rate. Okay, so the gamma rate, um, got it. Okay, um, actually, let, we just go on the lines. Uh, okay, so, um, Do we just sum it or what's the, no, I guess it's just an array, gamma and epsilon equals an array, then for uh, line in lines, for C in line, um,
Shoot. Let's do that. Or what's the best way of doing this? There. Okay, that was slow. I've got to figure out a better way of doing that. Um, okay, cool. So we have frequencies. Most common is G, so G of I is going to um, equals zero. Um, Okay, that's not right. There we go. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, convert them to ints. Let's just do That was slow, okay. Um, Okay, so same concept, I think. Is it the full list of binary numbers from your diagnostic report? Keep only numbers selected by the bit criteria.
So I think we still need this frequency calculation because that's pretty useful. And then then we go back through all of the lines. Should I just invert the hmm? Got it. Okay, so um, So if it's zero, zero, is that one? No, of i, i less than or equal to. So if one is more frequent or equal, then um, Oh, uh, this won't work. Return. X of X is I Oh, it's increasing. That's bad. So
maybe I should just do... Oh, that's because I'm just bad at coding. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so we do that and then we do lies, why, 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 and we need to copy all of that. And we need to do, for the other one, it's just the opposite, right? Least common. Cool. So then we copy that. And hope that it's right. Oh, these are the same. That can't be right. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. So this is the same. Is that it? Um, hello, people in chat, I'm still working. Um, does it make sense that these are opposite of one another? Like, does that make sense at all? It seems like they should. Let's try it. Okay, I should I should concentrate. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm missing the increment i. No, I, I I'm doing that. Which bit am I supposed to compare? Um, so I should get 230. Uh, okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> one oh one one one. Am I missing an? It seems like the last one. It's the last one here. Let's see here. Okay. 
Let's see here. Okay, so let's see here. Um, it seems like the second one is being calculated correctly. It's just not the first one. So why is that? I bet it's actually, shoot. What if it's this? Um, what if it's that? So I think it's something with the with the bounds here or the the conditionals, because I'm guessing that if I print out the frequencies, I need a better way of doing this. So here, frequency of zero at i has to be zero, one, two. Wait, what? Why? I guess we narrow it down already after three iterations? First iteration is correct. Second iteration has four things in it. Correct. Third have all ones. Yep. Fourth position, there are two numbers that have a one. So keep the one with the one. Oh, keep the one with the one. Ah, uh, I'm so stupid. Um, oh, I should not do that here. Um, and I'm not writing a camel. And then, uh, No, wait, this should be, this should work, right? This is a, this is an atrocious day, guys. Um, let's see here. Huh?
Okay, I feel I feel good that Anthony Wright's code is having troubles with this too. Okay, so f I don't even know what I'm logging at this point. Good grief. Okay, so it's it's index four, but what am I supposed to do here? Why am I filtering out the one that has a zero? Oh, because... Frequency one at I. Yeah, we aren't, uh, we're not solving this one in OCaml. I'm a, I'm a head to bed after this. Um, seven and five, so s Oh, I'm retarded. Haha, -ha. okay. I, I understand what's going on, at least. Um. We're going to just recompute this every single freaking time because that sounds like the easiest way to go. So, except for not lines, X's. And that'll recompute the frequency every single time. That way when we get down here, we can I don't think we actually need that. So We need to compute it for both of them, I think. These variable names. Please do not use this as a software engineering guide. Good heavens. This is atrocious. And then I need to use that down here. Get rid of that. Um... Oh, but we're using the frequencies. Okay, so we're just going to redefine the functions every single time, because why not? Closures! And that's why. And we're going to... We're going to try it. Oh, that's good. Um, oh, if oh wait no return. We probably don't need that outer while loop, eh? No, it's it's this while loop that we need to get rid of. There. Oh crap. Then this I goes out here. That goes at the bottom. If len x is equals one equals len y's break. No, let's just do this. Okay, that didn't work. All right, so let's see here. Let's 
Let's get rid of this frequency computation because clearly that doesn't actually do what we want. So it's, what's happening? Is it just not going down? I don't know why I'm getting an infinite loop again. Okay, I still have a chance. Still have a chance here to get something. Um... Okay, so what's happening? Wait, this, so this one should be using Y, and it is. Y is for the Ys, X is for the Xs. Same thing. Um, maybe let's try printing X is Y's. What in the literal, where, why is Y is empty? I bet that's it. I've said that like a thousand times now, but uh, so that's not it. Okay, there. and it goes down to zero. Why is that? That's dumb. This is... Like a sane person.
Oh, I bet I'm just incrementing I too many times. Nope. Wait, how does it go from 0 to 5 then? Oh my gosh. Ah! I'm literally so bad at coding. That's still wrong. Okay, so the first one is correct. Oh, well, that's good. That's better than it was before. Okay, I, ha I have an obscene amount of prints. Let's fix that. Let's keep that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, because this is working. This is working. That's working. Okay. So what is going on with the top one? Is a, or at the bottom one, I guess. Yeah, Sec second one should narrow it down to this. Third one should narrow it down to... Zero, one, two, three. Three, one. So we need to figure out the frequency of, of the Y's. That must be wrong. I used I too many times. That really bit me real good. Oh, I think that's okay. So many indices. Okay, let's clean this up. This is atrocious. I don't. I, I almost feel bad making you look at this. Oh, oh. Wait, how did I get third on part one? I was so slow. Okay, let's see. Impressive delta. Look at it. Like six times faster. What the heck? What did Dorian get? Uh Who else is who else is gonna gonna catch up to me here? What what do you get here? Ninth and fourth, okay. Let's see. So
Oh, I got him one second before Colin. <laughs> I like that problem. It was kind of fun. Um, besides, you know, <sighs> sucking at it. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't know what to do now. I guess clean it up. So Let's commit this first. I didn't use the tries infrastructure. I should probably have done that. Um, just so I didn't retry the same number again, because I, I got bit by that last year. I, I submitted the same thing a couple times, which was really stupid. Um, okay, let's just, let's just get rid of stuff that totally isn't necessary, and then we can start cleaning up the code here. Oh my gosh, how did I get 11th? So bad. Okay, so frequency can be calculated by just... No, so, so the, the thing with this is we're going through each line this is probably a decent way of calculating the frequency. Equals zero times len lines zero, zero. Is that the same? So that's a little bit nicer. So G and E correspond to, um, you know, the whatever, the gamma and epsilon ratings. Um, let's see. Shoot, where even is the freaking. This one was like reading comprehension on steroids. That was that was pretty hard. Um sorry for not interacting with chat at all today. Catching up on that now. Let's see. That that worked. We don't need that. I need to extract that out to a function because it was really annoying. Did I not make a function for that? If I I have p bits. I guess I'll make a new function up here.
I mean, I guess that's like easy, but like I, I forget it every single time and I have to Google it. And I guess I should do stir and list stir. And maybe also, maybe just list. If s is instance s list, then s equals um, who knows if they'll help uh, this. Who knows if this will ever be useful again, but at least it can simplify this code a bit. Okay, so We can also simplify this because um, we only need G, right? Isn't E the opposite? I thought that would reverse it, but no. Right, because it's all ints. Hmm. This might actually be a fun one to do in actual using bitwise operations. Uh, okay, so um, gamma epsilon and then um, basically, these are fine. I guess I could have just done, like, a, uh, calculated the difference. And if it's positive or negative, determine, determine it from that. That might have been easier. But I'm going to go with this. The 
feel like I'm talking about uh, COVID variants. Epsilon gamma variant. Okay, so that's that's pretty fine. Um, this was quite a bit more difficult than I expected for day three, considering it's not the weekend. Okay, so um, I guess I can also delete some starter code, like a lot of it. Oh, map list is probably useful. Eh, it was fine. Pbits roads. Okay. Do I want to be really unreadable? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so. They didn't invent list comprehensions not to be used, right? Yeah, ha, there we go. That's kind of fun. I, I said I was going to commit this way earlier. So what else can we do here? Well, we can start removing all of the prints. Let's start with that. So the one thing that bit me was that you're supposed to keep track of the frequency for X and Y separately uh, on this part because you start removing stuff and you have to recalculate the frequencies every single time. Um, so I totally missed that, which was dumb. And I should name these a little bit more sane. Sanely. And then what's the other one, CO2? Oh. 
Also, the story behind this was literally hilarious. Like, why would anyone do this? It's kind of fun. Okay, then down here, CO2 candidates. And then down here. So I'm going to try and combine these two really can't be combined. I guess they can, we can make a function that is like I only really need the frequency at a given line, right? Let's not, let's not muddy the waters too much here. This is pretty, this is actually not, not the worst thing ever. Tuple of list event and list event. Oh, let me go ahead and you know just fix the variables just before we do any ma other major refactors. Um, just keep stuff running at the very least. Okay, so that works. Um, now let's try doing this.
Oh. For there we go. Cool. So now we have a, uh, a frequency calculator and um, what else can we do? Oxygen and CO2. Let's try and combine these two functions. So just loop through all the candidates. Eliminate candidates I val stir. If if the candidate at i equals does not equal val so we're eliminating the one that does have the ones that do have the val new candidates dot append candidate let's put that up there. Okay. So now let's try and use eliminate down here. Right, right, because this is what we need to eliminate, not what we want to keep. Let's say keep, actually. I don't love this, but it's it's better, and we can we can iterate from here. So x is no longer necessary. So this is working. Where did it go off the rails? That works.
Huh. Oh, because it's the opposite. Right, 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 right. Okay, um, and then at the end, we can get rid of those and we can pull in this guy here. And then we can get rid of Y. Okay, so this is at least somewhat clean. So just, I'll, I added this assertion at the end just because it should never get there. If it does, we're in massive trouble. Okay. I guess this candidate calculate frequencies thing can be extracted out even further to shared code because it's the same. Um, and then Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's a ton else that we can do here. If there are more zeros than ones, then the that index is zero. If it's Hmm, let's see here. I think, I think that's about it. Maybe I should add a comment here. Oh wait, I bet the compliment doesn't work. Or no, it, it, it should, it should. 
because it's set up here. Yeah, I think it. I think it's fine. Hmm. Okay. So part one. Anything else I want to say? Keep. Okay, um, yeah, I'm definitely not happy with this. It took way too long, but I did solve it. I had two miss incorrect submissions, which is atrocious, but it could have been worse. Um, and yeah, what have I learned from this? I don't know. Um, read better there's a lot in this there's a lot of code here so i'm happy that i at least got third place on part one that'll keep me in the running um but yeah yeah kind of bad um Need some good days. Yeah, I guess I should have read the examples more, but I don't know. There was just so much text here. I didn't even know what to read. Like, <laughs> and then I screwed up indices. Like, I don't know. There was just all sorts of problems that I had. Like, what else did I screw up? Indices. I screwed up like less than I don't know. I my oh I screwed up the I screwed up using I multiple times. That was that was stupid. Um The, the, the refactoring felt good. I went down from however many terrible number of lines of code to not nearly as many. Um, it can actually fit on one screen, so that's nice. Um, yeah. Jonathan Paulson is probably uploaded by now and has a thousand views, but uh, we good boys. Let's see. This is this is turning out to be a really good leaderboard. I'm I'm excited to see there's there's um I'm still in this clump up here. So yeah, hoping hoping to maintain that and um stay within striking distance of the podium. Um that's the goal. I need some ones. And none of these 12s. Alrighty. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to, I'm just going to post this. I'm, I'm probably not going to edit it very much except for the very beginning. And then um, I'll update my blog post with sort of some thoughts about this. I don't want to talk about it on stream and it, it just takes too much time to, to do that and too much brain power. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching if you've watched this long, and I will see you 
tomorrow at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time for Advent of Code Day 4.